welcome welcome back to a new video it's a new day here in georgetown absolutely beautiful this seems to be like the bus park right here right now we're walking into starbrook market the famous starbrook market and i believe this is the bus station right here to get you to wherever you need to go in georgetown or in guyana you can see these are the names of where they're going starbrook to sophia with the bus number so that's how you know where you need to go we just took a bus uh from over at the last market to here and it cost just a hundred so that's just a couple cents usd um we're back in another market i'm gonna give you guys a full tour of this one this one is very iconic very important to guyana and georgetown a lot of people come here this is also the bus port right yeah where you could catch your your taxis everything and and uh these buses can bring you all around guyana yeah so madness we have pizza hut over here oh kfc you like kfc we're moving we're moving which is the craziest market here in uh, guyana this one starbrook all right so i guess i guess now we are entering the official madness market of guyana this should be interesting good thing i'm with a local <laughs> we're gonna move around huh it's where everything happens and Starbrook market so like Look killings <laughs> huh it's okay i'm just saying yeah, so while well, we outside over here let's see if this guy is gonna try to get me on a natural juice cost 300 we're gonna see we're gonna see because you guys know i love my natural hello, juices brother. hello how are you juice what kind of juice you got you have cane, sugar cane sugar cane yeah all right Very good for you. is this sorrel yes yeah, sorrel yes all right sorrel damn what should we get guys we have cherry we have cherry too cherry i like the sorrel how much for the sorrel 340 344 340 yeah oh damn i only got 300 on me 300 on you yeah that's all i brought with me is good or no i don't think you can no okay worries. yeah that one's good here we go this sorrel yes yeah, all right here we go right here in starbrook market you guys right outside the entrance you can come to this shop right here cane juice, cane juice stand cane juice, cane juice. Cane juice. Cane juice stand right so we're gonna market. starbrook market right in the front thank you i appreciate it we're gonna give this a sip right now so it said 340 <clears throat> no can do i only got the tree bills on me give me tree bills give me tree bills you know how it is so we outside. I just met a fan there. Why you know them? Um, she she just you know she just love looking at different content. Yeah, we got straw. He tried to charge me three forty. No, 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 no. I told him I only got I told him I only got tree bills. Mmm. Okay. The sorrel is pretty tasty. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Bro, all type of things are happening here right now. People rolling up. People partying <laughs> this is definitely a crazy place he's gonna put the drone up right now and see what we got going on this is my only my second time seeing the drone fly and then i'm gonna take you guys into the market right here you can just look at the outside you can see the history 1881 built with all this i don't know material metal it's metal and you can see they cut out designs where the 1881 is and right above the clock they cut out designs over here. So think about how much history has happened here. This place has been around for years and years and years. It's the 1800s, it's amazing. I'll give you guys a top view of the market. If you could see that, not really, but. I'll have to send you this one. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to send it. He's up here checking out this view right here, so. Oh yeah, actually the drone's way over there. <laughs> How long you been flying the drone for? I got this June. June? Yeah. Is it hard to fly? No, it's not hard. It's right there. So we're gonna chill out here for a second, get some drone shots, and then we'll head inside. I'm seeing a lot of like Venezuelans here too. I told you a lot of refugees. Yeah, a lot of Venezuelans here. <clears throat> Walking into the market now. What she say? I'm shopping at four now. Oh, oh, oh. 
So we're just shopping. Now I'm gonna show you guys inside of Starbrook Market. <clears throat> Starbrook. It's okay, it's on me, it's on me. It's uh, Starbrook. I keep saying Starbrook, but it's Starbrook. <clears throat> so we'll come this way first and see exactly. This market is a bit more organized than okay. the border. Yeah, yeah, I can see so far the shops and everything look halfway decent. Yeah, yeah. He says it's a bit more cleaner as well. Maybe the girls come here to buy their prom dresses. <laughs> like I said, women's wear is everywhere because women always want to look good for the men. So women clothes sell fast. Women clothes always selling fast, selling fast. Look at these girls. You can come in here and buy your cell phones. Yeah. Oh, all right. You got a speaker. You got speakers over here. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, this this market is a little crazy. <laughs> All right, we'll come this way over here. So we shouldn't walk that way. I know those girls. I know those girls told them. Those two girls that walked back there, they definitely tipped them off. Like, yo, these two boys are coming over here. Tell them no, no. You, you want to be on camera? Camera? Me? No, yo, this lady, yo, what the fuck, yo, what the fuck, yo, this lady just kissed her teeth at me and said she wanted me. <laughs> yo, what the fuck, yo, this market is crazy. We'll keep going straight. You can see we got shops on both sides, so you can come here and buy your produce, rice, flour, oil. They have basically everything that you would need, like a grocery store. Yo, I can't believe that lady. Did you guys hear that on camera? She was kissing me. And I thought she wanted, I thought she wanted me to buy something, but that wasn't the case. That was funny. And there's quite a few uh, people here too. Definitely a lot more Indians. Oh, you got gold. So this is probably real gold. Wow, guys. And you can come to Guyana and buy gold for a little bit cheaper. Thank you. Very nice here. I need a gold chain, yo. And you guys know I don't. I need one. You do? Yeah, I'd like to buy one, but like I told you, I don't like to drop big money in once. So maybe when I make big YouTube money, you guys, I can buy myself a gold chain. Guys, watch this video. Share, share, share. You know the more you share, more persons watch. That's how we both get paid. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So we're gonna, uh, so like I said, he, like he said, share the video, get it out there. But yeah, I need some gold chain. All I got is the silver on me. And uh, I think a piece of gold would, would be decent. Like a gold ring or something. It would be nice. Uh, Guy Guyana is um, big in gold too. So you could see, I like, the, I like the pendants down there, the circular pendants. I like those kinds. So it's nice. Um, I've heard people come here, buy things, and then they, you know bring it home sell it for more but if you do that the uh what are they called what are they called the, the boys are gonna get you the border patrol so you can see we got fresh produce everywhere on both sides you come here buy your peppers buy your greens okra anything you need carrots garlic so it's very nice and he said this right here is where you can catch a boat should we catch a boat um, Should we go to the other we, side? We, we're gonna do that in a few. Oh, we are? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do that in a few. All right, I guess we're gonna go to the other side over here in a second and see what we got going on. This is where the market actually ends. And this over here, for you guys who don't know, this is the Demerara River. What's this it called? The Demerara River. Demerara. Yeah. And I actually learned the other day about the Demerara Rebellion. Demerara Rebellion. Okay, that is some history. That is some wow, history. don't let me tell you history about your own country, bro. This guy, bro. Oh, yeah, it took place yeah. in like the 1800s. Okay. Over at Independence Park. Well, actually, that's where a lot of the people were executed that took place oh. in the Demeram, Demerara. Demerara Rebellion. Rebellion. Okay. Did the person that, did you read that or somebody told you about that? I read history before I come to a place. So that way I can give it to my viewers. <laughs> So these are like water taxis right here. 
And he says you could take these far up. Yeah, 50 cents. 50 cents? Just 50 cents to cross. Oh my god. Yeah. And what's on the other side? It's th something just like this. Something okay. Something just like this, yeah. So Damn. here is region 4. Over there, where I live, that is region 3. Oh, you live over there? Yeah, I live over there. That is where I came from. Oh my. Yo, guys. <laughs> From where I was staying, this guy came across the river, yeah. then took a cab all the way up to me to pick me up. Yeah. True hospitality. <laughs> Even though I, I told you, I told you, I <laughs> promise. I made a promise to you. Issa, tell me you're coming to Guyana, and I made a promise that I'm gonna get you. So I yeah, had to break that's true. promise. That's true. I had to fulfill your promise. That is true. And you said you were here just for a short period of time. Yeah. So I took some time out of my time to give you my respect i appreciate that yeah. bro definitely i told him i know how to take local transportation at least to the market but he was like i'm gonna come get you bro yeah. so yeah i can't for him in a cab true hospitality yeah. and you can see the boat over here they got life jackets for yeah, everyone must, one thing once you're in the boat the water taxi you have to put on a life jacket because you cannot go yeah it's required they're gonna put you off if you don't want to wear it, they're gonna put you off yeah yeah, yeah so you must put it on Awesome. This is this is new for me. Yeah. Here we go. We're gonna get a Solara. That's a dollar fifty. One sixty? Yeah. Yeah, you cut it? Yeah, it because can you say it's a bit too big. Alright. So we're gonna give her one sixty for the Solara. You want anything to drink? I'm okay for right now. You gonna get something? I want one of these um, lemonade. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. So this is a Guyanese treat. I'm pretty excited to try this. Yeah, I can take a piece and try it. Thank Yeah, so closer, no it's not very cold though. Uh, it's okay. A Solara, or what you guys would say, a red cake. Red cake. Alright guys, we got the Solara. Right here. Also known as red cake. When do you guys eat this? Holiday time or all year round? It's eaten every day. Every day. It's a every day because it's a sweet food. Mmm. Mm. I feel like, for me, this would go good, maybe warm, with a glass of milk. Mm. I like sweets. This is like a sweet, right? Yeah. This is like a sweet. You can't have too much. Hmm? You can't have too much. Yeah, no. Guys, early in the morning, freshly baked, with some milk, bro, it would be kind of gas, I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought it was like a red velvet. A little different than that, but still good. After the Solari, introduced me to pine tart. Said it's a pineapple paste on the inside. It's actually really good. Again, for me, uh, fresh baked out of the oven. Boom, would be fire. Nonetheless, it's still very delicious. Kind of hectic outside. Normal day. This is the method. This is the system right here to get on. We all going on right here. My first water taxi here in Guyana. <laughs> they got the American flag over here too. Big up. So here we are. Everyone, all right. I gotta put my. Uh, just gotta put our life vest on. Make sure we're good to go. So guys, here we are. Taking our first water taxi in Guyana. Let me clip this. Oh, yeah. Even though I'm a, I'm a swimmer, I can swim. You always gotta make sure you're safe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Safety first. Safety first. You said it's like a 10 minute ride? Yeah. So it's about 10 minutes to get across to the other side. Let me ask you for 
quite a few people get on here. So, yo, do people take this to work too? Yes. Yeah. Actually, like former transport. Going on, or like persons are going home. Yeah. So a lot of this is like peak time. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So it's like a daily route. Like yeah, a daily route. route. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yo, look at this, yo. We just crossed right behind that ship. <laughs> kind of moving kind of fast no joke he said this island over there is a man-made island we'll put up the drone and check it out here in a little bit he said the west side is the best side so we're going over to the west side apparently it's the best side drop down in the comments let me know if that's true well getting off on the other side immediately looks well it's the same but different you got clothes everywhere a variety of clothes Cars over there. This is region three, you said? Region three. Walking out. We got LV hats, purses, bags. So, this is the part where you'll come to get your goods. Before you head over on the other side, this is how they get you, sell you before you get on the boat and sell you when you get off the boat. The car park? Yeah. So yeah, so this is the this is the vans and taxis for this side. But these these can't these go across the river? Oh, but it takes longer. Yeah, it takes longer because of traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is why most persons come here. Only if you know, for most people are scared of the water, we take the, the harbor. Ah. Go to the harbor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I noticed they say G G Town, G Town. Yeah. G -town. So for some reason, I thought that side wasn't connected to this side. Yeah, I thought you yeah. had to take the take the it's, water it's taxi. By, you, know, you got a shell over here, a church's chicken. <laughs> Hello, how are you? So we're gonna. Yeah. So we'll figure out our situation and then uh, we'll continue on. Very interesting being here. There's a lot of, a lot of different type of, I don't know, people, cultures, religions. China star over here. I saw a Jamaican flag over there, over there when we were getting off the boat. An American flag. So quite interesting being in Guyana right now. Huh? You heard? Yo, over here, yo, it's mad weird. I ain't gonna lie. Guyanese, what's up? They do... They just yeah, keep yeah. kissing. They keep kissing at these three girls behind me, yo. Yeah, that's how they holler at girls over here, I guess. Kind of... It's kind of weird. We got a record shop over here. So this is your ends right here. This is the west side. West side. Yeah. Damn, man still got like bootleg CDs it look like. Over here? Over here seems to be a little bit more of a calmer vibe though. Over here seems a little more organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're relaxing. We got the store over here and I'm just walking around right now. His area, he's going to go back to his ends. I'm going to go back to yeah, mine. But you see the city is where everybody wants to get some, a, a bite of it. Yeah. But you have so many persons like selling here, there and all around. And there's an influx of so many different type of people here, so you guys will see a little bit of everything. A lot of a lot of Venezuelans refugees. Yeah, I'm happy it's cooled down today because yo, I was I was getting hot. I was sweating. I was sweating bullets today, yo. It gets real hot down here in Guyana. That South American heat will tear you up, for real. Um, I'm thinking that it's, we're experiencing the flaring. The clearing? The flaring. The flaring? Yeah, from the oil. Oh, okay. The oil well that is out in the sea. And actually, he just uh, showed me that man-made island that I showed you guys in that last clip. Yeah. He said they built that for oil drilling. Yeah. So 
So oil is big off of the coast of Guyana yeah. over here. Seems a little bit more calm over here. Wow, so this is someone's house? So that's how you know they got money. That's how you can tell the difference in status in between people here of clearly like anywhere else with house, car. House tells the status. Yeah. Yeah. People just walking, enjoying their day. Come here, get your school shopping done. Get your bags, same as anywhere else in the world. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me on my way back. Oh, the Gucci bus. <laughs> no, no, no. That was nice and all, all, it was all decked out in Gucci. You guys saw that? Oh, the bus. Yeah, yeah. the bus. Local police station over here. Yeah, there's a Greater Hope police station. Greater Hope? Vreed. 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 Vreed and Hope. Vreed and Hope. Yeah, this is really recently constructed. Okay. It's like about three, three months Are those ago. egg balls over there? Those are, um, what you call those things again? Those are like uh, in a spicy in a spicy water, like um, a vinegar water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what you call it? I'm lost for words. It's like pickle. Pickle, pickle. Like all different kind of pickle. Ah, pickled eggs and stuff. I'm not going to try this. Nah, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm not interested as well. This place is way more open, obviously, than the city. Um, this. This is like, huh? No. Yes. What is it called? It's Vreloop Junction. Vreloop Junction. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. What's What's the best thing about living in Guyana? Speak life. Speak life. Sweet life. Sweet life. Everything. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So sweet life. That's also what that Venezuelan lady said earlier too. Yeah. She. I said, what is the best thing about living in Guyana? She said, sweet life. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah. There is a lot of, you know, not all of these things here. And the price for those stuff are pretty high. And they don't have the finance to purchase it. Oh. So life would get sweeter once you're in Guyana. Oh, it's interesting. And as you guys know, political things are going on in Venezuela. So that's why a lot of these people are leaving the country, coming to other places. Such as Trinidad, Guyana, I'm, a, I'm gonna assume Suriname as well, all around the world. Yeah, over here seems way more calm, yo. Well, because it's not city, but it's not Georgetown. Yeah. So this is a different part of Guyana. I like it better over here. <laughs> this is not a walkable area, though, right? Well, we can we can walk. No, no, no. I, only just a little bit more and then I go back. Okay. So guys, here we are. Just giving you guys this is down the coast. This is West Coast Demerara. And that way we're gonna go that way just now. That is West Bank Demerara. West Bank? Yeah. Okay. So this is West Coast. This is where I live. Down this yeah, area. you live way down there. Like a 25 minutes drive. Okay. And you get to Tushin. Tushin is my village. Tushin. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Say bye to Clint Andre. Drop down. Big him up for showing me around Guyana, for around Georgetown, helping me out. And uh, stay on the lookout for his content as well. I'll leave. I'll leave his uh, links and everything down in the description. I think I'm gonna head back and I don't know. Try to figure out something else. So I appreciate it. I'll see you guys. I don't know if I'm going to end this or if I'm going to keep going, but I got to get on the boat. We'll go on the boat. All right, we'll go around. So I guess we're going to go around here in a second. All right, yo, I just made it off the water taxi back on the other side now. Um, big, up, big up to Clint for showing me around. I really appreciated that. You see, we got the big truck behind us. We got to move, move, move. But um, <clears throat> yeah. I was happy. I linked up with a content creator from here in Guyana. He showed me around, showed me a couple markets, downtown area. 
Um, definitely got to bring you guys another food video here in a little bit. Right now you can see we're just going to let the big truck pass. He was just dropping off the garbage can in the back over there. So always hustling. Operations always moving around here. <clears throat> But yeah, we're going to continue on. So right now I'm going to catch a cab back to my accommodation. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the video. You know, I was only here for 48 hours. So I tried to do the best I could with what I had. I hope I showed you guys, you know, a little bit of enough. Um, I can come back here at any other time too because I want to go to the interior. I want to see the interior. So I might have to fly back. Hello. You camera shy? Let's ask. Let's see. Are you camera shy? What's the, are you camera shy? Yeah. Yeah. What's the best thing about living in Guyana? The best thing living in Guyana? Yeah. Free, free. Free, free. Free country. Our free country. <laughs> Every time I ask someone, they say everything's sweet here. Everything nice. 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 Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. You can't even drive. Oh, you can't even walk around America with an open beer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. We're gonna dip out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Respect. Have a good one. All right, guys. So you heard it here first. They say everything sweet, everything peachy, everything free. He said. <laughs> all right so we're gonna catch you from the next one well i don't know if i'm gonna make another one from guyana or if this is gonna be the last video but we'll check it out i got the bus i gotta catch is over there it's the 40 bus he told me 40 buses over there and they go around to my area so you know you hear that in the background that, like that 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 teeth sucking is interesting for me because that teeth sucking is like a is like getting your attention or trying to holler at a girl i don't know they have a sports bar up there that you can go to and i want to end the video right here in front of this building because i don't know what this is but i hope that someone down in the yo what's this building parliament ah so this is the parliament building right here so we're checking out parliament right here in guyana and i guess maybe i'm gonna end it here I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I appreciate the love. I know I tried to end it like three or four times, but there's just so much to see. Another beautiful church. So thank you again. Drop down in the comments. Big up to Clint Andre. Go subscribe to his channel. Um, that's it for Guyana. I thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one from wherever I am in the world. All right, I thought the video was gonna be over earlier, but I got hungry and I was told by my friend, Chinese food in Guyana is something that you need to have. And everywhere I go in the world, people are like, Chinese food here, Chinese food here. But I told her like this, I said, you know, where I'm from, I think that my Chinese food is the best. And I feel like that's almost me being biased, but I feel like when I, when I eat the Chinese food where I'm from, it's just, better than anything. I ate Chinese food actually in Trinidad and it was like halfway decent. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna end the video right there eating the Chinese food. I was gonna make it its own review or something like that but I was like nah I'll just add it on to the other video. You could see it's very busy. These kids are getting out of school super late. I don't understand what the situation with that is. So someone drop down and explain but I'm gonna take you guys upstairs and we are gonna give this a review. We're gonna see if it's really hitting or not. So let's go. Okay, so we've made it inside. I bought myself a rose for my table. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously we have our Coca-Cola beverage. Now I haven't even opened this up yet and looked at it, so we're gonna do this together. But I thought this was interesting. <laughs> they gave me, I believe this is pepper, but it's like, in a specific kind of bag. I don't know, maybe this is chili pepper. We're gonna have to give those a taste. All right, so I got a mixed, whoa. What, this is a mixed rice. I didn't know it was gonna come with chicken. I thought that it was gonna be, let me eat this cucumber. 
Hmm. I literally thought it was gonna be like beef, shrimp, vegetables, and pork inside rice. I was not expecting the chicken. And now let's see what I got. I got also this right here. I got sweet and sour pork. Now I know some people don't like pork, but oh. Okay, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that. And we got p chunks of pineapple in there. We got uh, onions in there. Okay. Mmm. Oh! <laughs> Yo. Hold up. We might have something going on here. Here. Let me give you guys a little... So you can see the background a little bit. Wow. Nah, that's sweet and sour pork. <laughs> oh man, you guys know I love to eat. Hold on, we're gonna give you a review of that sweet and sour pork though. Okay, and the sauce um, back home, this, the sauce we get is usually like, I, actually I think it's red. I think it's red as well. Mm, I washed my hands before I ate just so you guys know. Yeah, okay, the sweet and sour pork is definitely hitting. Mm. And it's nice and crunchy. Perfect. I'm gonna give, well, I'm not gonna give you a review yet. Or well, I'm not gonna give you a score. But as you can tell, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly pleased. Mmm. Wow. So it's not even, it's not so oily either. It's perfect. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. I'm gonna have to show you guys the mixed rice here in a second. And by the way, I only paid $4,500 for this meal. 4,500 Guyanese. I'll put that down on the screen. This is the, this alone was 1160, uh, 1160, obviously, Guyanese. So we'll go in with this chicken first. Interesting. They cut it up right here, right in the center. So we'll start with this chicken first, cooked all the way through too. It's perfect. Mm. The flavor is good. It kind of tastes just like a basic like chicken wing, but it's good nonetheless. 